The former Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, has been banned from running for public office until 2030. The Supreme Electoral Court found Mr. Bolsonaro guilty of abuse of power. He had been accused of undermining Brazilian democracy by falsely claiming that the electronic ballots used in the country were vulnerable to hacking and fraud. The comments were made during a meeting with foreign ambassadors last year before his election defeat by Lula da Silva. Mr. Bolsonaro's lawyers are expected to appeal. We can go to Sao Paulo now and speak with the BBC's Camila Mota. Uh, Camila, could we start by uh, you just outlining what the main thrust of this case against Mr. Bolsonaro was and what his defense was? Of course, Nancy. So the case was brought uh, to the Superior Electoral Court by one of Bolsonaro's rival parties, and it was built around this meeting organized by Bolsonaro back in July, so a few months before the election, uh, in which he presented uh, to foreign ambassadors. He cast doubts uh, on Brazil's electronic voting system without presenting any hard evidence that backed uh, his fraud claims. Um, five of the seven judges uh, rebutted the, um, the defense uh, arguments that Mr. Bolsonaro was only uh, exercising his free speech and that he summoned the ambassadors um, to try to improve, to talk to them and try to improve Brazil's uh, voting system. And just in terms of how the public have reacted to this case, tell us about that. Right. So Brazil has been deeply divided for years and that hasn't changed since the elections. Uh, that's what polls show. So a lot of Brazilians are celebrating his conviction. Uh, they've been really vocal about it on social media, while Bolsonaro supporters say that this is well politically motivated, that he was unfairly convicted. Uh, and that's a scenario that pundits say that can only fuel more uh, anti-establishment sentiment among Bolsonaro's voters. And of course, we've got elections coming up. Uh, what could happen next? Uh, could there be an appeal from Bolsonaro? Could he front other candidates in his stead? Right. So that's the big question now, right? Bolsonaro says he's going to appeal, but what experts have been saying that uh, even if he's unable to run in 2026, uh, whoever he backs uh, on the race would have a huge leg up. Bolsonaro still has a big electoral clout. He has 50 million uh, followers on social media. And to the surprise of many, just a few days ago, he said uh, that if his wife, former First Lady Michele Bolsonaro, wanted to run for office, she could. That's very different uh, from what he used to say when prompted with the question. He always said that Michele Bolsonaro uh, didn't have enough um, uh, electoral experience and that she shouldn't run for office. That rhetoric might have changed. We'll have to wait to see.